Niji Sanji just can't seem to do anything right. First, they terminated Selene Tatsuki unceremoniously. She found out with the rest of us when the termination notice came out. She was trying to do it in a more amicable way, a more neutral way. But Niji Sanji decided, screw this, we're done. We're done with you. We're just going to toss you out. Uh, she, she mentioned all of this with Doki Bird, which is her current account, account that you should, and she wants you to sub if you were a Dragoon before. So follow her at her Doki Bird account on YouTube. Just look it up. Doki Bird, she's right there. Just follow her. I did. Uh, so she said that she was woke up and she started crying because she saw that she was terminated. So they messed up on various parts, besides the fact that she had mentioned that she was, it was a toxic work environment as well. Now we have artists and other people speaking out, a lot of people speaking out. First, we have Mari, who says, All the stuck of Blank Company. I want to say she literally had to pay me herself for a birthday commission she got from me because the company didn't pay me after months. She's always been kind to me and commissioned me even before she joined. So she commissioned her for the, her Doki Bird as well. So this is a person that she knows and has treated well, as there are no complaints that I've ever heard of Selentotsky not paying artists. She's always been the type of person to pay artists. In fact, when they had a contest, I did this in my other, my other video, when she had a contest of, you know, getting her new outfit out and someone to design it, Niji Sanji just wanted to be like, hey, you know, you get exposure. But she was like, no, artists need to get paid. We're going to pay the finalists and we're going to pay the, the actual person who done, does it and the people who are runner-ups. Niji Sanji, she, she was fought and fought and fought. Niji Sanji didn't want to pay out of their own pocket. She's like, I am going to pay them myself. So Selene paid them herself. She did. And that was something that, that I, as a fan of VTubers and as a fan of big VTubers like Selene, will never forget. Another thing, she says, I didn't expect them to get any attention, but I was going to say, I'm sure they had intentions on paying me, but it seems like their management is just not very reliable. She says down here as a response to someone else, they probably had intentions on paying me, but they messed up the invoice like three times. And then after months, still never paid. So she had to personally do it. She's very nice. And of course, they're blaming Selene for everything. It, it's just that their damage control is not doing well right now. It's Niji Sanji is just not doing well. Another artist came up and said, I worked with her last year on cosplay and dance video, and she was incredibly sweet the entire time. I never officially signed an NDA because any color kept sending me one with incorrect info, and I refused to sign it till it was fixed. They never did, lol. Which is also why I never posted the photos because I didn't want them to come for me again. Please continue to support her through this. She always made sure the creators she commissioned were paid and in the loop and the agency failed to do so. And she said again, I just checked my email and they actually emailed me last night for me to sign it again when it wasn't corrected still. So it was still bad, still uncorrect. And they still wanted her to pay to, to sign this, this NDA to prevent leakage of information, I guess. They are inept. They are just, they send it to somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. Maybe the, the higher ups, the very, very high ups know what they're doing, but the managers, the people down below, they're not getting enough um, enough instruction to get this right. The right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing and isn't even, they aren't talking to each other. This is just bad and it gets worse. Thanks for supporting my animations. I decided to move on. Thanks for supporting my Niji Sanji animations until now. I would like to share that the, despite my efforts to keep support towards Niji Sanji, I sincerely cannot do it anymore. The motivation that I had is no longer in me. This does not mean I will retire from animation or VTubers, but that I simply decided to move on. From now on, I will focus on indies, other companies, or even my persona. I hope to have your support moving forward. This account will stay active and all my past animations will remain. However, from this point in time, I will no longer be making Niji Sanji content. So they lost another animation person. This community brought many good things in my life. And thanks to that, I found amazing artists and creators that I hope to keep in contact with. I will be moving on and I apologize to those who were looking forward to my Niji Sanji content. Thanks for the support you have been giving me until now. I will take some time off the internet and I will resume my animation duties whenever I feel ready. Thanks again for your support. Love and hugs, Frel. She goes and continues down here to say, I feel that I need to add some context and some people are assuming things without knowing what I did. I never worked for Niji Sanji technically. Selene was the one who contacted me and paid me with her own money. I did sign an NDA with Niji Sanji, but again, Selene was the one doing all the work with me. I never once interacted with Niji Sanji or management. I worked with Selene for a year or animated on animated shorts and then this situation happened. I never worked for Niji directly and I was not part of the production of animations for Niji main YouTube channel. Since all the work did get deleted by Ni Niji Sanji, all of her work I deleted. That is messed up. All the content I did and therefore context is lost. Please refrain from using my experience to spread negativity and ill intentions. I just made this to post and communicate what was going on to happen to my own content. 
Of course, I have to say this because I have found out through different sources that people are actually going to Niji Sandy Livers and they are harassing them, bullying them, creating chaos. This is not what Selene would want. This is not what anybody wants. I fully disavow anybody sending any kind of hate or vitriol towards those organizations because that only allows them to play into the victimhood even more. And also, we don't know who mistreated Selene. We don't know the exact names of the people who mistreated Selene. We just know from her specifically that it was a toxic work environment and that there were livers who did mistreat her. We don't know who, so we can't really make assumptions and then go after people. I hear people going after Millie, going after Ike, going after different people. Rosemary Lovelock, all these people do not do that. Please just don't do that. Again, another L for Nidhi Sanji here. Announcement regarding Nidhi Sanji inspired merchandise. And this is from Studio Nekomata. In light of the recent developments regarding Any Color, aka Nidhi Sanji, and Salentatsuki, aka Doki Bird, so follow her channel again, we at Studio Nekomata have made the decision to cease selling fan merchandise of anything related to Niji Sanji. Of course, correct me if I'm wrong in anything down below and like and subscribe if you enjoy this stuff. All remaining inventory and stock will be sold at cost until the end of February, at which point we will donate any leftovers to charity. Furthermore, all revenue on Niji Sanji related items in this time period will be donated to mental health resources. Specific ones to be determined at a later date. It's not like we planned this in advance. They didn't. I mean, this was hit everybody like a ton of bricks. We had the brief opportunity to talk with Selena Anime Expo 2022. Her love for artists and creators was obvious and infectious, and her abundant positive energy made it possible for us to get through the final days of a brutally difficult convention. We refused to support, even indirectly, any organization that would quash that energy and love. Thank you again for your continued support, Dakama, Federico, and Lexi from Nekomata. I've gone to Anime Expo and boy is it hell. Yes, it is. It is heck on earth. It is definitely heck on earth. So moving on to other things. The statement from Wen Zoto, Niji Sanji Ien. I'll speak for myself, very unfair situation. I'm really upset. Please be respectful. So yes, please be respectful of the people who were once friends of hers. People who are friends of hers, people who have known her for years. So please be respectful of all those things, please. Next. And they got, they got community noted on the termination contract because it said Niji EN's statement says that they privated a music video before saying it was misleading for Selene to say management privated the video. It's a contradiction in their own stuff. Selene claims she already asked to leave the company after bullying and toxic environment led to her hospitalization and at least to Doki Bird status, which I read on my main channel. So they really messed up. And here's where, where, where it's they in their own announcement said that she claimed she was no longer able to engage in her activities as a liver due to the decisions made by any color and was as she was being harassed by other affiliated livers due to mismanagement, etc. So that goes back to just a toxic workplace environment that was mentioned in the previous one. And here we have Kyo, which is a person who does news and does other things like that. Uh, he's mentioning that if Selene lost access to her socials on December 26th due to Niji taking them away, who made these tweets? Because yeah, they had these tweets. Apologize for the silence and the, about the accident and that she's doing well. She's under supervision. She got access to her phone. And it also says, thank you to everyone for the support. Since I've been gone, I'm discharged as a hospital. All of that was probably management. Honestly, honestly, all of that was probably management to be honest with. So, and of course, people responded down below. At least the mods can somehow use her channel. <clears throat> so the mods, I'm going to mention this a little bit later. The mods used her channel to promote Doki Bird. They did. It was hilarious. And I love it. I love when mods do that. And here's where, where we're going. Seems like Dragoon mods went rogue and opened a quick stream on her channel to promote Doki. This whole situation is a cluster. I don't have enough popcorn for it. And here's the information on here. Silent, which is one of the big mods for Selentoski, who was there all the time, said Niji Sandy messed up. They did not remove my mod. Please subscribe to Doki Bird in the stream chat and YouTube. Thank you, Niji Insider. Please don't get fired. All these types of things. They they went to the actual page of her uh, stream that she was going to have on February 7th. From the cartoon, she deserves better. Here is saying, they can sue me if it breaches my NDA with them. I don't care anymore. Go follow Doki Bird and show her some love. And then everyone was like, um, os, os. Niji Black Anji, LMAO, and then they were all, you know, they all went because when she started, when all of this started, Doki Bird was like a 90, 92 uh, followers, 92 subscribers on her YouTube channel. And now she's gotten over 200K. So the Dragoons have gone there. The Dragoons have uh, made sure that she feels like she is welcomed. She feels like she is uh, supported. And, you know, uh, the support is great. You should always do the support. 
and they're all saying, sink the yacht, sink the yacht, sink the yacht. And then <clears throat> soon afterwards, Nidhi Sanji kind of realized, oh crap, this is happening. And uh, they privated the, the little stream that was opened up by the mods. And of course, down here is like, VT summarized this whole situation in a single image. Hijacked. They, <laughs> they hijacked the yacht. Oh my goodness. Well, we get to have some levity in this whole thing, of course. Current mood. Yes. Yes, uh, Selene is destroying the yacht that Niji Sanji created. And they deserve it. They do. Because they've been doing horrible things. Also, next on, we have more information. There has been mass unsubbing for a lot of Niji Sanji talents across the board following Selene termination announcement. This is big news. I mean, they're losing about a thousand each. Of course, you go up and down, up and down, up and down and things, but no large losses have been seen by livers like this until now. People are jumping ship from Niji Sanji. It's not going to destroy the company. I'm not saying that in a month or so, Niji Sanji is going to be gone. It's too big to fail almost. It has way too many people on there, has way too many livers active in the, in, in the whole process. They are not going to be dropped like this. They are not going to, um, you know, all of a sudden no longer exist or anything like that. They pretty much flat out existed that they removed access to Slen's socials. What do you think the chances are that they also were the ones that tweeted when she was in the hospital? Another person saying most likely they tweeted when she was in the hospital. Doki Bird has over 162k. Last I saw, 200k. So thank goodness for that. And then we have, you know, what I just mentioned. And we have Niji Sanji EN, other livers saying that they're going to take some time off, which, I mean, it makes sense. They're trying to gather their thoughts. It's a friend that left. It's a person that they've been working with for two years, two and a half years, who left. They've also, like I, I said, I've heard in by people that have told me, they are getting harassed. They are getting bullied as well by people who, of course, will jump on the bandwagon of the black company that Niji Sanji is, because it is. It's a black company. I'll say it. I'll say it as many times as people need to hear it. It is a black company. It is not one of the good guys. They are not one of the good guys. They're big. And it's not the, the lowly managers, the lower managers. I don't blame them even, because they're given six talents. Zion Lanza said each manager is given six talents to manage. That is hard. It's really hard to do that, especially with everyone going in different directions, having a bunch of projects to be done, having a bunch of ideas, creative ideas to happen. I don't blame the bottom the low level management. I blame the upper management, the CEO. They're the ones who are supposed to make sure that their talent is managed correctly. The talents have all avenues open for any creative endeavors that they want because it will make them money. And I don't get why they don't understand that. I don't get why this is happening. But what I do get is, like I said before, support Doki Bird. Go and, you know, follow her channel if you're a Dragoon, if you're someone who's interested in following her. Go and follow her as well. I really do think that's good. And I will leave it at this uh, because there's going to be way more information coming out. But, you know, you can't cover everything. I do appreciate you being here. My socials are down below if you want to look at it. My Discord is down below. We try to talk about these things, bring all these things up. If you have any ideas or uh, on content as well, the Discord is a good place to show it. Twitter, any of my other spots down there. And I will have a video shown to you that you might like here right in front of you at this point in time. I appreciate you. This is the Matt Salvi. Have a wonderful day, evening, afternoon. And please don't harass anybody. Just don't harass anybody. Don't perpetrate. Don't continue perpetrating what caused her to leave. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye-bye.